Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where I was just verifying, um, I'm pretty sure somebody's already mentioned it in the comments, kind of like a preferred um, order for the DLCs, but I'm just verifying that on a couple websites, because um, we have, we obviously have the companion DLCs, the Normandy crash site, I already know I'm going to do that after everybody's uh, personal missions is done. Potentially right before um, the suicide mission, because um, that one's pretty personal to me and like my shepherd, I, I would feel like um, companions. And we have the Firewalker pack, which I don't think I've ever actually done, but apparently it's uh, the, you get to play with the hammerhead, and there's seven different locations for five different assignments. Um, nothing big you can kind of play it when you want it seems like kind of a mid-game thing overlord is like the biggest dlc i think for the game it's also the website says it and i agree it's quite haunting um and it is one that will potentially be like i'd have to put like some warnings up maybe you know just in case people haven't heard about it it can be quite upsetting to watch uh it was upsetting to play um but not in like a bad way i feel you know it was just like one of those things where it's like you know this terrible thing would happen and like how would you react to it you know what I mean um, but it's definitely one you don't have to play um, it does show up a little bit in Mass Effect 3 I think regardless of if you play it or not um, but it does change a little bit in Mass Effect 3 if you do play it um, mid game uh, all of these I would do after um, companion quests by the way Layer of the Shadow Broker is apparently better for post Mass Effect 2 uh, like after you finish the suicide mission, um, it is very. It's not like it's, I don't think it's not like got a lot, not a, ugh, not got a lot of upgrades or anything. Um, it's got some things, uh, but it's in cabin items apparently. I don't remember. I've only done it like once, I think. Um, but it's pretty important story wise. Uh, it does feature heavily in Mass Effect Three uh, Arrival. Uh, which is huge for setting up Mass Effect 3, but it is not big. It's not a big story. Um, one location, a couple of little upgrades. Uh, but again, should I agree, should be played after uh, the main storyline. Um, so but I didn't realize that about Shadow Broker. I think I've usually played Shadow Broker. I feel like I've only played it once, but maybe twice, where um, I did it during the game. But it's not bad to have something to go back and revisit after the main story's done. So, And if it's DLC content, people are more like, likely to watch it, not just like me running around the galaxy, <laughs> you know, just picking up little side quests. So I think, um, unless somebody makes a great argument otherwise, I will probably do Layer of the Shadow Broker and Arrival um, after the main game is done. Um, and I will do... Overlord and Firewalker and of course Normandy Crash Site at some point after I finish Companion Quest. So, let's get going. We got lots to do. It still haunts me that I'm going to be doing all this <laughs> and uh, getting a, a slightly suboptimal outcome, but again, nothing, nothing terrible as I keep telling myself over and over. Let's do... Let's do Garrus's because I also do actually want to stop by the Citadel. So this makes, this is good timing. It's so spooky to have everything be so silent. Uh, Joker shouldn't have anything to say. I am, whoop, this way. I'm not gonna worry about, what's it called, mining for now. You will have one half Especially seven. since. I don't think I have enough money to buy the upgrades I want. To be fair, though, I should check, because I did actually get, um... I did get that tech upgrade from the base game, which is another thing, right? As I still have all these companion missions, and I think you always get some sort of upgrade from them. And I don't think you get a weapon from every single one, but I know you got... I think you get the Viper from Thane, you got the Locust from Kasumi's. I'm trying to think if they're... I know there were others, but I think pretty sure in every mission you get some sort of upgrade, like a tech damage upgrade or biotic upgrade, you know, shotgun upgrade. You get the shotgun 
with Grunt, you get the Krogan shotgun that only he can have unless unless you do, well, until you go to the Reaper, that first dead Reaper, air quotes, dead Reaper that we went to, um, where, oh no, that was the collector ship, that was the dead collector ship, that's right, the dead collector ship, we get the ability to spec into a weapon we wouldn't normally have access to. We'll definitely take Garrus, and we will take... <sighs> Should we bring Legion or Thane? I haven't brought Thane out in a while. And two snipers shouldn't be too bad on this one. Oh, I know this one's got... <clears throat> it's got some pretty long sight lines. But it's got, like, mechs dropping in and stuff. It's, uh, it's a wild time. That's fine. Am I playing on hard code? Hard mode? I looked at that code up there. Hard code. Um... I think I would like to save up... My pull. Guess a shot. I'm gonna go with the heavy concussive shot. Shredder, what a shredder ammo upgrade to. Oh, that's right. I think we'll save up for warp. The locust, okay, good. The viper and the vindicator and the missile launcher, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. First we're gonna go shopping, Garrus. Then we will go take care of your uh, revenge plot. I do think it's hilarious in retrospect that they're doing a training thing right here at the front door. Let me in! Oh, nice. Easy peasy. Yes? Can we already ask him this? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back Oh, yeah, then. we did. It's a shitty yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. I joined c so I could stay in one place. Put down roots. Let's look for... I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? <laughs> if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Mm, yes, yes. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. I should be going. I actually... You need anything else? Let we me all know. do know who Fade is, and I'm pretty sure he went by the name Fade in Mass Effect 1. It was just something I didn't really put, like, together the first time. But we do know who he is, and he is a dirtbag. Uh, not just because I've played the game, like, Mass Effect 2 before. We know who he is from Mass Effect 1. <laughs> so, and he was a dirtbag in Mass Effect 1, so I'm very excited to go kick him in the teeth. Um... Come on, please, you have to help me. I need to make something nice. It's for a date. <sighs> Fuck. A sorry honey marinade. Made at an Ardat Yakshi monastery by oh, sad wow. blue souls. Too sweet for a real connoisseur. But anyone willing to date you will probably be impressed. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks. The Ardat Yakshi compound. Interesting. Oh, that's just a cafe. Um, oh my gosh. Let's just let's just take a minute. Let's just take a minute. And appreciate no come back let me appreciate you okay i can appreciate you from the back i'm also capable of doing that i'm not picky i do actually want to buy some more fishes if they have any more fishes for me i have also with the current decisions that i've made did i already tell them about the fish i didn't what do you want why are you so interested in fish from the presidium it's so decadent Eating a fish from the Presidium would be like screwing. Oh my you. gosh! Ugh, the sorry you're so squishy. <laughs> Where are you supposed to get a decent fish? 
<laughs> Everyone's got their own personal taste. I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling me. It's all he's talked about all damn day. Yep, you're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome. I'm here to help. I'm Commander Shepard, and this yeah, is my favorite I'm story. Just shell out. Sell out? Shell out. These fish are also gonna die, but you know what? My true joy and pleasure in life is uh, the next game. Mass Effect 3. Where you can get jellyfish. Not Hanar. You get actual jellyfish. <laughs> I'm Commander Shepard. This is my favorite store on the Citadel. I don't want those. The Incisor Sniper Rifle. I have very little money. Oh, fine. Ah, it's painful. I could get that gun. It's really not that expensive. The game salesman does nothing for us other than be hilarious, I guess. Paladin. Um, why are you still here, lady? Go away. This looks like the oh, place. Oh, jeez. The fortress thug should be inside. I thought I was bypassing this. We'll, we'll go in there in a second. Shepard, and the, the nerve enhancements say that there are occasional motor control side effects. Jake loves to run. What if it makes him fall down? Jake is fine. He's a perfectly healthy talker. Where was... Are you... Oh, you are. Just... Okay. He's my baby. He's all I have left to Jake. capacity, has. yes. Whatever that noise is, oh my gosh. No. I just want to protect him. Get him vaccinated, child. I'm or woman. Shepherd, and Get your child store the vaccinated. Cell. Damage. Okay. And I no longer can afford anything. Oh my gosh. Well. God, I gave them my... I gave... The FBA couplings. Yeah, okay, good. Alright. Should we go in? Look, it took me a long time to get this oh refund. Boy. It's a decision on Joe. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Yo, what's up? We're just friendly here for a friendly chat. No big deal. Krogan are always posted, you know, just for people who want to have a friendly chat. Fade? You're not quite how I imagined you. Looks. Could be. Yeah, so can lies. So. Which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah. Uh. That's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. <laughs> Shepard's face. Damn it. Quick, shoot them. Shoot them, you lumbering mountains. Why don't you two find somewhere else to skulk? Just like that? You're not getting paid for this. What's the point of hiring protection if they won't protect you? Truly. We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not paid. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well then, maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab factory. If it was this easy... I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. Yes. How the hell did Harkin end up being the Yep. Player? Well, he got fired from CSEC a while back. 
He used his knowledge of CSEC and their systems to help a few people disappear. <sighs> then he made himself disappear. No, he didn't. And Fade was born. Oh! So was Fade the other guy's name? Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Um, Harkin was the guy we had to talk to in order to get information about Garrus, actually. Um, pretty sure it was Garrus, yeah, to find him. Um, and Harkin had, was, uh, being very inappropriate with the female shepherd. Um, and you, you just, you can kind of tell him to buzz off, essentially. Um, and he's also just a drunk and a bully and was, like, the first human, uh, hired into CSEC on the Citadel. But, um, I guess obviously Citadel security. But, um, yeah, and had been, like, they had been constantly, like, babying him. You know, trying to make sure he wouldn't get fired. And then, eventually, like, there was enough humans that they could kind of push him under the rug. Because he was just a bad egg. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So, I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh. Oh, good. good. I love that. <laughs> I love that we're such good friends. We're so in sync, bestie. <laughs> I just talked to him on the wards market. He sent me here. Come the on, wards why market? Do I need a oh my order? goodness. The wards market? Why would you come to a Zakara ward warehouse? Uh, the factory district, I think, yeah. He said they were out of stock. And I... I'm almost tempted to bring Zaid, honestly, because of the Blue Sun's connection. I don't know if he'll say anything, though. I'm gonna bring Thane, because Thane is nice to look at. As I've already established. Also, I feel like his presence would be a calming presence in this very fraught situation. Because this is going to be a very fraught situation. Garrus is, uh, is definitely letting his emotions get the best of him. Which is understandable, right? Very understandable. There he is. Shepard? I'm alive, bitch. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Stop him! Stop him! Run all you want, Harkin! We'll find you! Garrus is going on his uh, Batman... Crusade. What gun do I have? It's great. I was stuck. I was stuck for a second. That was not cool. Let us in, Harkin. Let us in. I do need a med kit. I need whatever I saw. What? I swear there was something else I could pick up. Ah! Hang on. Don't... Don't hurt me. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, uh, actually... Okay, Thane's got the sniper on, alright. It's like, one of them, of the two snipers, one of them should be on. Combat systems... Oh. To the right. Ah, that didn't do anything. Well, that was unfair. Owie, 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 owie. I shouldn't have done that. Whoop. <laughs> Please do what I'm saying. Dang it. I'm so bad at this game. I rush in far too quickly. Hostile forces have engaged. See, now he knows what the right side is. Kazumi couldn't tell directions to save our lives. Ow, 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 ow. 
Oh, geez, you're still alive. My shield. I am not paying attention to keep expecting them to just die. Anyway, this is a freaking giant warehouse. I actually really like this running through this area. Arkin's in here somewhere. I can smell I believe him. you. I don't know why. I'm just particularly fond of this, like, area to run through. Maybe it's the mechs, like, sneaking around. Like that! They're in there, I know they are. Jeez! Oh my goodness gracious! I what the heck? Why was that? Why did it appear there? Wake up! Oh! Do I, who do I know that needs? A, that's probably one of those um like you're just kind of over here and passing people. It has been a long time since I've played. I gave the locket back to the Asari. The database back to the Wait, come in here. As I must. Database back to the Salarian. So Harkin has finally gone completely bad. He was always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. Are uh, you okay, buddy? You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. All right, bud. You do it your way for now. Did you see that? I saw something. He's getting ready for us. What are you gonna do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now, working for the Blue Suns. I should just shoot him on sight. But I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. You don't need to hurt him to get what you want. Don't worry, Harkin's a coward. He'll talk long before I can really hurt him. You still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? That's the plan. It'll be quick and painless, unlike everyone he betrayed. He'll be spared the agony of a slow death. It's more than he deserves, but as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. Garrus, do you really think killing Sedonis will make things right? I know you don't like it, Shepard, but I have to do this. Is there no other way? Maybe, but this is personal. I'll pull the trigger and I'll live with the consequences. All I'm asking is that you help me find him. You're just asking me to be an accomplice, that's all. But also, like, you know, there's only so you can... Yeah, your friends can make the decisions, that, you know, in their lives and everything, obviously, you know, but, like, there's only so much that, as a friend, you can kind of sit back and let them do to themselves, you know? And this is a big deal. What do you think Harkin's got waiting for us in there? Not sure. It looks like an industrial complex. Heavy machinery. Could be Maybe anything. a heavy mech. Something's Or in three. There. Probably more blue suns. Harkin's kind of trapped himself in a corner. He must have something in store for us. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. And I'm afraid we'll have to cut it off there because despite my best efforts, I could not manage to get these personal missions into one episode unless I edited out all the combat, which is just kind of not my style, so... Um, but thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. This is a little short because, again, I was able to edit a little bit, just not all of it down to, like, a 30-minute episode. It would be, like, 50 minutes, so I just split it in half. Um, thank you all for watching despite uh, the long gap that happened. Uh, I was unable to get videos for while I was in Hawaii. I did just get back. However, I'm going right back out to work in Montana. Uh, apparently the place we're staying at might have Wi-Fi, uh, so I don't know if I'll be able to upload any more videos. But I'm trying to get at least one or two ready for today and tomorrow. So thank you all again for putting up with my haphazard schedule. I appreciate it. And really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons to who support me despite all of these crazy things. Um, 
But yes, thank you to all my patrons, but to especially uh, Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much. And Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.